beautiful Aries this is Tammy with spot on psychic readings and I'm coming in to do your weekly reading and Chippy's here um, ready for his cookie and a nap <laughs> you got Chippy so that's the new motto here have a cookie and a nap <laughs> thanks to Chippy and his wise um, his dog wisdom <laughs> right so I hope you all are doing great um, Gonna see what's coming up Aries we're looking into this last week of February and on up into the first couple of days of March about the next 10 days or so and let's see what's coming you guys I'm gonna pull these by feel today oh you wanted to help you want another cookie here okay you gotta take your nap <laughs> all right Chippy has the life doesn't he <laughs> When I, if I have to reincarnate, which I don't really want to, but if I have to reincarnate, I'm going to come back in a situation like Chippy has. <laughs> Living my best life with a psychic. <laughs> okay, let's see what's coming, Aries. I hope you guys are really doing great. It's coming up into your season um, fairly soon, to your birthday season. When you're in your full Aries power, that's always fun. All right, let's see what we've got here, guys. Hmm, interesting, very, very interesting. Wow, okay, happy energy there. Hmm, okay, got the goosebumps. Wow, okay, here's your fire energy. The final outcome, I'm just gonna tell you the final outcome right now is the King of Wands, okay? Aries, so seriously, you're gonna be in your Aries energy as a final outcome. The closer you get into March and up to April, you know, to your time frame um, for Aries, you're gonna really be in your fiery Aries energy, okay? <laughs> yeah, this is it, you know? This is somebody very determined who gets what they want. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> okay, so let's see what we've got here, Aries, because um, there's a lot of cards reversed, and I'm gonna do a lot of clarifications, and they're not reversed for everybody here, but they did come up that way um, for a lot of you, so let's see what's going on here. The first card we've got is, I feel like somebody has been harsh with their words. There's something here about Ace of Swords reversed for some of you, and some of you have cut out things that didn't work, and some of you, are seeing or gonna see soon a cloud with a silver lining so um, you know that expression cloud that's with a silver lining means if there's been a dark cloud hanging over you uh, with some negativity that's gonna open up and you're gonna see why it was really there you're gonna get the good from that bad situation so I feel like this is really significant coming up um, going into the last of February and into the first couple of days of March okay now, your challenge card, we've got um, this juggling card. We've got the two of pentacles, and I feel like some of you are uh, borrowing money from this account to put into this account and kind of, um, you know, juggling money in that way. People always say to me, how do you, what's juggling money? You know, and really it is, it's like, well, I've got to borrow money from this to pay that bill, and before this bill's due, I'm gonna borrow money from that. <laughs> That's juggling money, and I feel like for some of you, that is what's going on, okay? For some of you, there are a couple of new money opportunities, which we'll look into with this Two of Pentacles. And, you know, he is juggling a rainbow. Again, something good comes out of the situation for you, Aries. So keep that in mind. Now, some of, some of you, Aries, because you are very original, independent people who really don't care what people think, you know? I mean, you're a spiritual warrior. Of course you don't care what people think. And this really shows up with this energy around you. We've got the very unconventional upside down Hierophant. You know, the Hierophant like thinks outside the box. You know, the Hierophant reversed is like, um, you might have different beliefs from other people. Anything from your spiritual beliefs to uh, your personal beliefs to beliefs about the way your life should be, you know, or what you should be doing or what you do for work and things like that. Hierophant reversed. Very strong card of unconventionality, you know. Is that a word? Unconventionality, yeah. <laughs> and here's the nine of um, wands. I'm sorry, nine of pentacles. 
So these two are showing your energy and you know, some of this is like um, your belief system has made you stand apart from situations. It may have uh, repelled some people from you, unfortunately, because they didn't get it. You know, you don't think like they do, like, like you're different. And people don't like different. People, people are scared of different um, a lot of times and I feel like they're scared of you, Aries, in a lot of ways. This could have made you feel isolated. You know, this Nine of Pentacles reversed for some of you is making you feel isolated, like you might be living alone. You like where you live and you're happy there, but you're feeling kind of alone. Like you feel like you can't relate to people at this time. And some of this is because of your um, spiritual upgrades that you've gone through. And I've been seeing this for the last year, you know, reading for you all. You've been upgrading and upgrading, like you've gone through some bad situations, but it's all been for this cloud of the silver lining you know, which is starting to turn around for you. I will clarify all of this when I get to the end, okay? So there's a couple of things here going into your past. You may have been celebrating something, um, maybe even with the Page of Wands, who could be a younger person, or you might be celebrating some message you got, and uh, you might be really happy about something happening. And I feel like this has already happened. I feel like you might be in this energy at this time. You might be um, have re you might have already received or waiting for a message, a message of good news with this page of wands coming through. Okay, so that is definitely showing up like it's already happened for some of you. It might already be in the past, or it's getting ready to happen. It's um, you know going to happen quickly and move into the past. Now. Um, coming up in your immediate future, Aries, both of these cards did come up reversed. The one in the most immediate future, which could be today when you're watching this, is feeling like you're just not getting what you want. And again, I, I think this unconventionality is kind of um, bringing some of this up. Like the way you want things is not the way the rest of the world wants you to want things, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? I mean, like they want to control what you want and because you're different, you want different things. You want things to be different and I feel like it's creating some sort of a conflict and you're feeling like you just don't, aren't getting what you want with this upside down wish card, nine of cups. Um, it won't be true for everybody. Some of you are getting what you want. Some of you are getting your wish, but I'm just reading the cards as they come up and there's a lot of reversed cards here and I really do think a lot of it's because you're being very different. You're taking either the high road or you're taking a, um, what do they call it? The, the um, path less traveled, you know, the road less traveled, that kind of thing. I feel like this is you, Aries, really strongly right now. You know, you're, there's all these, you know, phrases about it, but you're marching to the beat of your own drum, Aries. You really are. And not everybody likes that. You know, you're not for everybody, nor should you be, <laughs> right? So I think there's some of that and it's making you just feel like I just can't get what I want because it's different, you know, it's like, and if it's different, I feel like you have to approach it in a different way as well. We'll, we'll clarify this. In your more extended future, we've got the reversed King of Cups. Okay. Now this is somebody secretive and this, this probably is not you because it's a water sign. I mean, it could be for some of you, but I feel like there's a water sign for some of you, potentially a masculine figure, because it is a king, but take it as it resonates. It's a collective reading. And for some of you, somebody keeping secrets, I feel like somebody's not opening up, and this might be why you're not getting your wish, like why is this person not opening up to you? This can be somebody very emotional, and usually they're a very good listener, but they're kind of turn into their crab in the shell, you know, when they're reversed like this. And it, on this card, you'll see, um, this one have the crab usually the king of cups does have the crab on the card this one has seahorses but this is usually a water sign and a very a lot of high emotion whoops and that sort of thing he doesn't want to be seen you know when cards jump out of my hands like that I mean I could have dropped it but you know I don't usually drop cards I feel like it jumped out of my hand a little bit it's trying to get away <laughs> that's the feeling I again I read by feel and I just get this feeling this person wants to hide, wants to crawl in their crab shell, and that could be a cancer energy, you know, it could be Pisces, could be Scorpio, but I feel like they're trying to burrow down and not be seen and jump off my table and not, not be on YouTube right now, okay? There's something there about this person, 
and I feel like this is more in your extended future so this may not have all played out yet with whoever this is but we'll clarify so Aries you're being seen as holding on to your money at this time maybe even somebody is seeing you as a tightwad okay not my words whoever's seeing you their perception okay so don't give me any mean comments <laughs> Aries <laughs> okay so actually I'm kidding because most of you leave me the sweetest comments but this is how somebody's seeing you like you're holding back like um, somebody seeing you maybe somebody seeing you as you're the one who's not opening up but I feel like that's not you because it's not a fire energy it's a water energy so something here is um, somebody seeing you like you're either being a top tight water you're holding on to your money or you're not being generous enough or something like that okay so we'll see where this goes it also looks like you're in um, or you're fearing some sort of stalemate or tug of war situation with this two of swords okay uh, somebody doesn't want to take the blindfold off somebody doesn't want to see the truth it's that I don't think that's you I think that's whoever you're dealing with probably this um, cups energy over here and your final outcome as I said earlier is king of wands so this is your very strong Aries spiritual warrior fiery energy and this is your final outcome of this spread not of your whole life but of this spread that you're coming into that energy and i think some of it's your timeline let's just pull this one and see what you don't see coming uh he shows up every time doesn't he well page of swords what you don't see coming but now you do page of swords can be somebody kind of looking in on you spying on you that sort of thing okay let's go over um, I'm gonna go to these are kind of love confession cards I'm gonna ask what's up with this king of cups what's up with king of cups Aries because it's very much a relationship sort of thing for most of you probably not everybody but most of you why is this what's up with this person there's something about being heartbroken okay heartbroken deeply hurt and sad feeling lost grieving and despair in a breakup yeah there's been a breakup here um, pretty much for sure especially with this three of cups celebration moving into the past and things you've cut out that don't work your cloud with the silver lining here's the ship um, this is about cutting ties moving on receive what you need progression and arriving arriving it's interesting it's the ship card because the king of cups is out there in the water so literally for some of you there could be something here to do with water or ocean or beach or a trip or being near water or being on a cruise or going on a you know anything think water okay cutting ties but somebody here is cutting ties and is very heartbroken around this king of cups energy and they were very old school now this explains a lot so their beliefs were different from yours remember i said that earlier with this reversed hierophant somebody somebody had outdated thinking uh, they kept replaying events in their head and they were um oh they were replaying events that were over in their heads okay outdated thinking like old conditioning old tapes as you can see on that card that kind of thing so I feel like whoever this um, this breakup with this King of Cups had to do with that, like a difference in opinion, not only opinions, but beliefs deeper than opinions, like deep seated beliefs in things. And I feel like that caused a lot of what happened with this breakup. Let's ask about why are you not getting your wish? Let's see if there's anything in the love cards and I'm gonna switch over to my serpent and peacock deck and get you the rest of the clarification there. Last one, uh, the coffin. So this is the endings card, the coffin. It says new beginnings, liberation, reborn and transition and tragic endings, Aries, for some of you surrounding this water sign. Potentially, it, could, it doesn't have to be a water sign, but it, um you know the reversed king or queen of cups which is in your more immediate future so this may not have happened yet but you might be kind of seeing it on the horizon so heads up heads up on that all right let's go over to um let's clarify let's clarify why you're not getting your wish 
nine of cups okay why is Aries some of you some of you not all of you some of you are getting your wish okay it's a collective reading so take what resonates and you know ignore the rest leave it for who it does resonate with okay all right that is clarified by the ten of swords wow okay so some of you didn't get your wish because there was a tragic ending as shown in this ten of swords energy okay i hope it's not too dark in here on the video i just did not want the lights on me today i just wanted to sit in the natural light so i hope you can see these okay sometimes i just don't want the lights in my eyes <laughs> okay all right so you're not getting your wish because there was an ending and uh, maybe an ending with a page of cups there might have been a younger page of cups in this picture so we've got king of cups page of cups there's there's water energy there's um a lot of emotion high emotion here for sure and this could be somebody who started out as a friend and then it turned romantic and we've got the three of wands so the three of wands is all about um, new opportunities for one thing but in this case this could have been three people or three love opportunities um, you know like a third party um, kind of situation okay for some of you let's go over here and ask about um, what else do we want to clarify let's clarify king of wands what's coming in Aries with this beautiful king of wands energy for you that's your final outcome it's a very strong powerful successful determined card Ooh, has to do with the moon okay so the moon can sometimes be love or enchantment it can be um, psychic abilities it can be seeing through the secrets you know things disclosed to you remember I said this king of cups upside down is very secretive holding things in it's again can be a water energy it can be um, traditionally Pisces but you know it can be the other water signs too that I mentioned earlier and it's something giving you um, anxiety with that moon sleepless nights could be you just have so much passion going on um, coming up Aries that you can't sleep you know sometimes when you're really excited about something you're gonna do one of these new opportunities in money you know not all not everybody's gonna be having a love reading here um, whatever opportunities whatever it is you're passionate about okay um, sometimes can keep you awake you want to get started on it you know and of course you know passionate about somebody love or if you're missing somebody that you've had this breakup with that could certainly be keeping you awake as well here's page of wands again so page this is twice now this has shown up page of wands is something about news getting usually good news so I feel like I feel like this is happening now and it's also going to happen more in your future Aries you're getting some kind of really um, good news that you want to hear and this wands is a very fiery energy which matches up with your king of wands energy if that makes sense okay your Aries energy <laughs> look at this Aries oh both of these want to come out okay so we've got the world the world card is success all right so I'm clarifying king of wands you're going to have some kind of a message message or a messenger fiery determined and your clarification is this world card which is like spiritual graduation going to the next level you might be graduating from something a class you took or something like that um it's having to do with loose ends being tied up it's, uh, things coming around to you that are um coming like things coming together major success and a lot of spirituality with this world card also sometimes it can mean global opportunities you know think the world um, and rising to the top this is you sometimes being on top of the world okay it also came up next to six of cups so there may be some influence from the past uh, there might be childhood uh, memories that are coming up with this page of wands uh, the messenger or some kind of message or some message from someone from the past sometimes this is family sometimes this can be a lover 
from, whoops, a lever from the past. That one I dropped. <laughs> it also jumped though, didn't it, a little bit. So there we go again, your cards are jumping. Um, I, I feel like that one's really active around you and your Aries energy. So let's go over here and let's just see any other messages for Aries really quick. Final words for Aries. Aries overall, I think this is a really positive reading and I hope you see it as such. Um, and I hope you listened all the way to the end because sometimes people make comments like, oh, it's so negative. I mean, I'm just reading like what's up, what the cards are and it does include past, present and future. So sometimes people don't get to the future part. So I hope you did. Here's a tiger. <laughs> this is you, Aries, you tigers, okay? This is maybe doing something risky and taking a chance. You may need to take a chance, okay? Let's see what you're supposed to take a chance about. Let's see what else is coming up. The spear, heartache over what you no longer have. Yeah, some of you are definitely dealing with a heartache over um, some kind of a breakup. I mean, the cards are pretty clear about that. Yeah, the breakup of potentially a marriage, okay? Or you may be coming into a marriage. But it did say a heartache over what you no longer have, and I think some of you are really sad about losing a marriage, okay? Um, there may have been unsuccessful plans with this not card. Some kind of announcement, again, news. Some kind of announcement coming up. And someone that you know or knew is undependable and insincere, okay? Let's see if there's any more. And that could be your person who was secretive and wouldn't open up. Um, maybe the person who saw you is too different in your beliefs. You know, and again, it could be cultural, spiritual, personal beliefs, any, any kind of beliefs, okay? Something about December. December is showing up. Something may have ended or changed in December, a decision was made, that sort of thing. They're telling me to switch. Final words for Aries. Okay, let's see. Also November. Decem November and December, both of these cards came up. Um, and this could be when there was a big turning point, a pivotal moment. Um, in those months for you. I feel like they're going backwards on that one, okay? And we've got the dolphin, which is financial gain. Here it is, financial gain. Uh, usually coming in from something you did in the past, okay? It could even be good karma, <laughs> okay? Bringing you financial gain. Uh, discord among friends or family. And that's the mice card, discord. And I would say, yeah, based on what I saw with this reading, I would say there might be some of that but again you're getting success Aries hold on to this don't forget this message you've got the world card this is like big success this is going to the next level this is like graduating from some situation and I've said this with Aries a lot um, you guys didn't choose the easy course you kind of chose the PhD course of spiritual evolution okay and I'm seeing it playing out I mean you guys have had um, a hard way to go in a lot of ways but it's gotten you into this major um, world energy okay and it's like you know a lot of people myself included believe we signed up for things like this maybe we were coerced <laughs> wonder that sometimes too but nevertheless it has catapulted you forward okay so keep that in mind so thank you guys for coming in. Uh, please give this a like. It helps the channel a lot. Comment, share it. Please share it if you like it. And come back in again next time. Sometimes you don't get notifications here on YouTube. I don't know uh, why that is. Even if you sign up for them, sometimes you don't get notified when my videos come out. So click on my channel. Come and look for them. They're almost always out on Sundays and Mondays and often on Wednesdays, okay? See you guys again soon. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye now.